So we start up with the humming of engine and the irritating sound that you know reminds a little bit of a, of, of some sort of a sonar and Dren trying to figure out what's with this weird engine and jump drive that can jump only once. So you know the it's it's hard to say silence, but the the cannonade the cannonade of those weird sounds is getting interrupted, but by the soft synthesized voice of comp of of the computer who says, "I was I see you are trying you are having trouble trouble with the engine room. How can I assist you? Insert your mm. name here." Okay. Um, can I uh, can I insert my name into the computer and ask it what, uh, to run a, a diagnostic? Yeah, sure. You don't need a roll for that. Okay. Right, running diagnostic. Everything works as intended. Have a nice day. <laughs> That's not good. Great. So polite. No, be good. <laughs> that went well. In, uh, remember to buy one of the newest Fruco products, our air fresheners for ship cockpits. Okay. Um, can I smack the console? <laughs> that for, sounds like forceful. Roll forceful, for forceful, yeah? yeah. Roll for forceful, okay. Yeah. I need to reacquaint myself with this again. Um, yeah. Roll into... Open your shit, card. So. Character uh, shield. Uh, shit, not shield. <laughs> Character shield. Um, oh no! Um, you did an oopsie. Um. <laughs> oh dear. What was the matter? Wait a minute. So let me look at my. Uh, what was up? Full school is one. So I'm gonna roll a. I'm gonna roll a. How do I roll? How do I roll again? Click, click go, from your character tab. Yeah, go to your character sheet. Oh, yeah, I can just click it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's a two. It wasn't uh, like, like I didn't g give you difficulty because like, it wasn't really a challenge. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, but so, seriously, if it gone wrong, little... it could've been, it could've just been like, die, die, die. There's like a that. little crack on the screen now. Oh, right. <laughs> and, 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 the computer and, goes, ow, quit it. Compu well, like, that went well. Computer is like, please refrain from destroying Fruco's pr wonderful products. If you require further assistance, I'm here to help. Well, well, poop. That didn't go well. Um, Trent, Trent is going to communicate over the, uh, over the intercom and be like, Dren, hey, Dren, yo, Pinky, how's it going down there? Sir. Everything. What's up, Dren? What is the engine? How are the engines looking? It's still making noise. That's, I don't know uh, how to stop it. That's what they do. Do you not know engines? Uh, yeah. Totally oh. no engines. <laughs> have you tried? Have you tried rerouting the power? The power converters. No, but we can try that. Yeah, sure. Uh, do, do I want to roll for a careful trying of the of the reconnecting of the power converters? Yeah, I guess. I guess it would be careful in, okay. in, in your in your. Yes, using my max stat. Where are we? There we go. Bloop. Oh, very nice. Oh, well... dang. Dang. Well, and you did it with a style. Mm -hmm. So, in that in that case, uh, I'm giving you uh, I'm giving you a little boost. So, mm. your next two clever rolls will have plus one on them. Wow! Oh, no. oh yeah. Nice. So you 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 manage to to you know reroute the power from power power converters and you can and you can see that the safety from the from the engine itself was lifted. You can pick what's inside the engine. 
we can look inside the engine. Yeah. Uh, although, wanna... huh? although, you know, like, your experience tells you that doing that without, you know, any sort of safety, equipment. Yeah, might not be the best yeah. idea. Pretty sure suspenders aren't going to cut it <laughs> when dealing with an engine. Let me yeah. say, we, uh, can I, like, call Trent over from the intercom and get him to look in for me? Say, hey, hey, Trent, yeah, just, just, just look in there real quick for one second. <laughs> just prank him. So, so, <laughs> uh, you want me to do what, sorry? You want me to look in the engine without any protective gear? Nah, no, it'd be fine, it'd be fine, it'd be fine. Yeah, you fine. realize, you realize I con people for a living, son, huh? You can you can <laughs> compel him. You can check what? if you can if you can compel him. Ooh, Ooh, compel. How do I compel? You can, yeah, yeah. You, you, you pay him a fate point, and you find w one of his character traits that you can use. For example, uh, you know, like he has his aspects, so you can okay. use one of them. If you open his card and you, should, you, you you can see his card, you can check out his aspects, and you can use one of them and use use a suitable, suitable argument. Right. Mm. Ah, it's not gonna work. Ah. Dren, Dren's gonna Dren's gonna leave that one. He's gonna go okay. and get some equipment. <laughs> okay. Ah, Trent, you're 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 a coward. Yeah. Got <laughs> nice, nice, I uh, mean, you know, <laughs> the you know, like the spacesuit, like the one that Frita dot com and his men are are you know wearing, might be enough protection for you. Just make sure you just you know get rid of the radiation from the engine room after okay after doing this. Well, and what computer says is like. Please refrain from getting to the engine. It's an unauthorized action. I will, oh. I, I will keep warning you, and asking you to not, not to do it. Yeah. Okay, computer, you can keep doing that. Um, I'm I'll... warning you to not do it. <laughs> I'm really asking you to not open the engine. I'm really asking you to not do it. And like, he do it doesn't stop. Blah blah, right. computer. Blah 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 blah. Stranger than the intercom is like, is the is the computer giving us some kind of corporate bullshit about not using the, about not talking to the engine? Um. Well, is it or isn't it? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Is 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 chance some stuff? I don't. I don't. I ain't really listening. I ain't really listening to it. I'm gonna just do what I want. Surprise! The problem with these big corporate rigs are all programmed with their subsections and the damn we gotta bypass I think we're gonna have to bypass the main computer if we're gonna have to do if we're gonna make any repairs because there's all kinds of loopholes think of it this way a, a, a ship like this that runs on a big corporate computer it's like looking at one of those big fancy contracts there's all little loopholes and little this is exactly the same we're gonna have to find the loophole in the computer system that's gonna sort of allow us to actually access the computer, the, the ship system, so we can fix the damn thing. Oh, okay. So you want to you want to take the, the the training wheels off. You want to you want to you want to loose it. You want to get it free. Honestly, I just want. I think we just need to bypass the computer. Okay. I've done it a few times, but not on a rig like this. This is brand new. Most of the rigs I've had to bypass are older models, but. They all based on the same system, so let me try something. Trent's gonna stop. Um, I'm gonna try and do a clever. I'm gonna try and do something clever with the uh, in the on the console to try and like bypass the computer systems from. Okay, the difficulty four. Is Oof. that is that a clever roll? Clever roll, yeah. Okay. Uh, ah. Oh, but can I use a point to boost that up? You can. I'll, I will. I will spend a point to boost that up. Oh, two. damn. Okay. Ooh. I'm stealing a point from you, then. I just realized the ship looks like a bomb. <laughs> no, that, was so... not, not, that was another clue. <laughs> 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 la, 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 la. 
Not the world. Oh, wait a minute. Right. Oh, no, never mind. Looks like a big, big boy. Everything's gonna be just fine. <laughs> okay, so what happens is like, you know, you get to like a the also of this computer so you can like turn off all the advertisement you also have the option of you know turn off the paid services for yeah. some if for some reason you know like set, set, you set the date but it seems like computer itself has a very little power over the ship like it's only you know it, it you you could give it more power, but it's really mostly just the voice in, in you know in the uh, in the control panel. Like it can it, it it doesn't even open the doors. It's very weird. Like usually you know those computers like do all some all sorts yeah, of stuff. This yeah. this looks like somebody was you know hmm. trying to put it here just you know to look serious. Like this the hmm. ship looks like. One big setup, essentially. Uh, okay, so Trent, Trent's gonna go in the com again. It's like, Dren, you can, yeah, you can go ahead and ignore that computer. It, it can't do anything to. It's li right. all it can literally do is bitch at you. <laughs> it can't do anything. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be. I, I, it has no control over the systems. It can't stop you. So if you're gonna check the engines, just uh, just go for it. Let me know what you find. Well, I'm gonna do that then. Um, I'll, uh, I'll. I'll put the I'll put this suit on you, the space suit, just for like protection. I'll put that on, and then I'll uh, Trent goes back. I'll I'll power down the engine, then re and convert some of the power, reroute some of the power, so you shouldn't be in much danger. But all right, yeah. okay, so you're gonna you're gonna power the engine down slightly, so it's not yeah, as yeah, dangerous. Like re all right, just, okay. Just reroute the power. All right, I hear you, Trent. I hear. You. I'm I'm going in. Um, can I investigate the inside of the engine? Yeah. Did you take a Did you take a point, by the way? I I seem just to have all. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I I like. There's something with my overlay, but I'm gonna take it soon. I think I need to. Mm. I I need to relock to roll twenty. Okay, but I have two now. Okay, so it so, so it have. Okay, okay, so it worked. It worked when I left. Perfect. Okay, so. Uh, roll. Careful for me. Yeah, roll careful. Okay. Yeah. Without, you know, any challenge, just. Without any challenge. No, it's, it's not a challenge. Like, you'll have different results depending on how well you roll. Right, okay. Um, careful, roll. Do, 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 do. Oh, a three. Nice. Yeah. Didn't he get a boost as well to his next careful roll, I think he said? Uh, for clever. For clever. That's for clever. Oh, clever, right. Yeah. So, yeah, what, uh, like, uh, uh, what you realize very quickly is that this is unlike any engine you ever saw. Mm. Like, it was weird to you when you enter here that, you know, the jump drive seemed kind of disconnected from the engine. You go inside and you see a giant white floating orb, essentially, you know, levitating over something that looks like two magnets. Mm. Obviously, you know, like radiation is horrible, but other than that, you can see that this orb seems to, you know, seems to send some message. Of course, like some standard issue issued engines are located after after that orb but this orb is obviously uh, hidden here mm. and it seems to serve a purpose like the weirdest thing for you is that something like this the experimental part should be you know connected to, to the jump drive not to the engine itself mm. and you know it's it's kind of danger dangerous in case of ignition so mm. In the future, you might want to think about some extra anti-ignition mm. uh, protection. Right, okay. But what's really weird is that this orb 
doesn't seem to be connected to the rest of the ship uh, with any sort of cabling. It's glowing. Not, not at all. It's just totally free. Yeah, it's totally free. Uh, yeah, it's it's about the size of uh, of Dren, I would say. <laughs> it's large and it's floating, and it may and it's, it a, makes this weird sound. Orb. Yeah, it makes this weird sound. Like a like a hum or like a <laughs> oh like a little... <laughs> so it's Morse code, okay? Yeah, something like <laughs> this. All right, okay, okay. Um, well, I'm gonna say that's pretty scary looking. So I'm yeah, probably and also just gonna... <laughs> before I forget, your careful roll, of course, tells you you don't want to t touch it. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't want to touch it, I don't want to touch it, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna just back away from this thing. It's real scary. Yeah. I don't wanna die. Um... Okay, well, I wanna, um, I obviously wanna close the hatch on the engine or whatever. Yeah. You know, make sure it's all closed up so there's none of the radiation leaking out on it, you know, like, vent the radiation. Yeah. Make sure none of it gets back into the ship. And then take off the suit and uh, let Trent know what I saw. And hey, Trent, buddy, I saw some weird stuff. What did you, what did you <laughs> say? How, how did it look? It's like a big white ball. Trent kind of pauses. He's like, I'm, I'm sorry, I think I had some communication issues. You said a, a big white ball? It's just a... It's a, it's a big white ball. That's not like any engine I've ever heard of. It just float, just floating there. Just floating there. Not connected to anything? It was not connected to anything. Huh. Just a big white ball uh, floating. What is what is with this ship? It's kind of looking around now because he's just like quizzicaling. He's quizzicaling. He's very quizzical, like he's confused. <laughs> hmm. Well, um, go look at no. the. Uh, go check on the jump drive. See how that's looking. All right, okay. Um. Uh, I'll. Can I um detect any other like problems with the ship from? From the uh, my control panel, like, are there any? Not really. Like, we we weapons fine and charge. Fuel is full. Mm. Engines seem seem to be working. You, you just cannot jump. You know, you can only use your impulse flying. So you know, like, it would mm. take you hundreds of years to go back, thousands even. So, and we've know. we've already sussed out that the jump drive was like oh, like was designed for the one trip. Yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be odd. I, I mean, I, 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 mean I, I would, I would tell, even, I would tell even differently. Like this one jump, special jump that you did, yeah, that was unlike any other jump. That was one thing, but you don't really know what part of the ship was responsible for that one jump. Only thing you know that jump drive is just inactive right now. Okay, um, transport probably gonna want to try and fix the jump drive, or at least investigate the jump drive in some just in some uh, capacity later. Yeah. In the meantime, Trent's gonna continue just like he's basically gonna rewrite the the computer's um, subroutines to his own settings so he can get more control over the ship and learn more about it so he can utilize it better. And he's also gonna mess about with the seat settings, so it's just the right height. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, roll careful for me. Uh, yes. <laughs> Difficult difficulty too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I have a zero in care. Oh, are you asking me to do it or dress? Yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's... Yeah. Roll for two. Two. Oh, I have a zero in careful. So that was oh, yeah, you passed. You passed. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think interesting happened. Carry oh on. My God, my <laughs> Carry on. You you've noticed that some idiot has, you know, has put. Uh, the seat, you know, uh, seat setting, uh, dangerously close to the catapult. 
You take a mental note oh, to, no. to, to, to be careful about this <laughs> later so, on. Someone's done what with the seat? They've moved it. Yeah. Uh, catap the ca catapult. Yeah, catapult. Yeah, the seat settings are dangerously close to the ca to the to the catapult. Ship has a catapult. Okay. Mm. There's a catapult on the ship. <laughs> well, catapult chair. Oh, oh okay. A James Bond ejector seat. Ah, mm. uh, got it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Trent will definitely keep an eye on that. <laughs> okay, so Dren is going to investigate the jump drive, but. Yep, yep. Before we allow him to do this, let's check out on the rest of the group, shall we? Yeah. So, in last episode, Frita tried to be kind of forceful with uh, some of the ship debris that you found on this planet that has proven not so be not uh, not not to be so bad. Like you guys got three boosts. Like, hey, it's not so bad out here. We'll allow you f uh, for one three reroll re each if you get into the you know in a dangerous situation mm -hmm. and you also have a butterfly a perfectly preserved specimen that you can uh, use now if you you know if if you fail a role uh, that's related to researching something about this plant you can add plus two on your role but you can also keep it for later like this th this is a boost that you could keep even when you left the planet so okay. th that's up to you guys. So, uh, uh, Frita shouted very loud, and all the butterflies escaped. You guys are next to a ne next to a very old crashed ship. <sighs> that's missing some parts, and Frita's leg hurts. Hopefully, she didn't broke anything. Ah, jeez, my leg! Why did I have to do that? Ugh, stupid piece of tech. Looks old anyway. Oh, man. It, it's a good thing this place is really pretty, or else I'd just be so mad right now. Hey, Goblin Boy. What you thinking about this place? Well, um... <clears throat> well, uh, after I'm done drooling over... Ah, oh, no, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. <laughs> Actually, I've been I've been really curious about anything else as well, but uh, we might want to take that look out. Uh, you, uh, Fluffy Hair, um, do you have any first aid? I'm, I'm worried about Strong Girl. Plus, I didn't puncture your suit, did it? Uh, well, I don't think so. I think I'm all right. Well... I'm only really good at injectables. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know we had those on the board. It's okay. mainly it's hardly the time or place. We're not that we're not that desperate yet. <laughs> yeah. Do we have a first aid kit with us? I mean, I I assume that you took the role of the medic, so Of course know. I did. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I yes. mean I I mean listen, this is a TV show and you you probably be the only one who thinking about stuff like this. Here here is my first aid kit that I my handy little pocket one that I take everywhere I go. Huh. <laughs> How surprisingly convenient. It has yes. and of course a single most, bandage. <laughs> listen, like most of the products, it has a small coin slot. So you, so you need to use it. Like it's a medkit, ah. but you need to put a coin in, in there. Oh, really? You have to pay for it. Yeah. No, you don't. No, you don't. Zap. <laughs> Have hey. that noise. I, I I would imagine that Ismene had you know like her her trusty medkit was already you know changed. She's low abiding, but she's not that low abiding. I I guess. <laughs> hey, not a bad idea. She had stuff. I pat dot com on the head. <sighs> I, okay, back to business, back to business. But keep that. Rain check, rain check, definitely. Okay, so we've got a crash thing. We got weird <laughs> butterfly things and artificial gen... What's the word? Um, organic electricity. Do we do we know anything else about this place other than just trying not to, not to get lost in whatever nonsense this is? Whatever nonsense you seem to be, you seem to be losing your thought. But in any case, this this machine looks so old. I don't remember anything like this, you know, back you know, where we came from. Something doesn't seem right. I mean, 
Can I um, go in and take a closer look? Uh, well, you guys, you guys already tried, but you might want to, you know, go further and check if there's more. Yeah, as in, like, go even deep, you know, be yeah. even more, investigate closer. Yeah. Into the into the old rocket or into, like, our environment? Uh, the rocket. Just to kind of, just like, kind of like, see if we could get any kind of clue as to where this came from. Okay, so... Mm. Uh, roll clever for me. We'll see. We'll use clever to see how per perceptive Frita is. Three. Nice. That's pretty nice. All That's right. Pretty cool. nice. So when you are inside, you notice that a lot of the panels are missing. That you know, like it was like unless somebody is doing something with this. It shouldn't be gone. Like maybe, maybe there were some survivors that were trying to do something. But what's weird is like it doesn't look like forcefully removed. You know, like somebody was using a welder or something or laser to cut it off. It looks like it was simply <coughs> sorry <coughs> melted and reformed again, especially. It's a very clean. Okay, so clean. I'm 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 basically looking through this hole, kind of like just yeah, kind of leapt up and just kind of looked through. It's like, this is one weird way of trying to get out of a ship or whatever this rocket is. It's like it it doesn't look like any kind of way I'd be able to do it. I mean, whatever. If it's not a criminal entity, it's way too elegant for this kind of thing. So I'm just like, I'm I'm stumped. As in like, one thing's for sure. Whatever did this didn't do this forcefully or maliciously. So it's like, so they, like they came here. Sorry. So there's like a hole in it, but it, it was just kind of like yawned open. Is that yeah. kind of what I wonder? I mean, imagine, you know, imagine if you will, if you have like a plastic uh, dice, right? Mm -hmm. So if you use laser of a welder or anything, right? it would make a mark. Mm -hmm. So this looks like it just, somebody removed a layer, you know? Okay. Like somebody removed the panel, like somebody was able to, to take it off without any force, to, you know, to suddenly melt it and reform it again in the same shape, you know? Okay, um, can I, like, with my goofy goggles, can I, like, scan it and see if we can kind of tell how this was done? Always, but difficulties will be pretty high. It's... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> Dot com has not brought his aim game today, but you know what? Is if, if there's still a hole in it, Dot com just loves going into small holes. <sighs> <laughs> so, so, I, so I, just, I, I just I jump down or I like just I can't I'm I'm inside the rocket so I just poke outside the hole so I'm like just kind of like or whatever it is and I'm just like man your your goggles have no good sometimes I mean just like the, one of these important times and it just like lets us down hell I was able to I was able to get more you know more out of this than you were and I mostly like just to punch things or shoot things well, sometimes under stress, it does happen. One in six chaos goblins do have uh, mm, some... Uh, you know what? It's not important. I'm just going to get in this hole, okay? <laughs> just get in there. That's what he said. Okay. <laughs> careful. Careful. Roll careful. careful. Difficulty two. Careful. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Roll careful for me, boy. I guess so. All right, so dot com will just shimmy and shake in carefully. He doesn't want to damage the poor th thing too much. It's already gone through a bunch. Yeah. All right, all right, sleeking right down in this hole. Hold on, I need to grace up a little. Hey, uh, get a strong girl, can you spit on me? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Okay. That's all right. That wouldn't work. Um, I'm just gonna like. Use I, I'm gonna like use the quick as in just like just tug.com 
really <laughs> fast. Just like... <laughs> I mean... Oh I mean, you know... <laughs> Uh, I would be more. Uh, <laughs> I would say fully forceful. And <laughs> okay, I'll roll forceful. Oh! <laughs> ah, you took it the wrong way. Took it the wrong way. Oh, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Do you want, do you want to use your fate point to up it to three? Yes. Yeah, I think. Forceful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take a point. Fr- I'll take a point. Okay, okay. So what happens is like we hear a muffled goblin scream <laughs> and a lot of ow, ow, ow. <laughs> it's like you're, you're falling, falling much longer than you should in a very comical way, and you find yourself. Uh, in you know in the innards of the rocket and you discover that all cabling has disappeared every single cable is gone like it's empty somebody took all the cables you know oh boy okay well that's a little disappointing hey hey all the insides are gone it's like someone like just went in there and just just what's (laughs) No, I'm not gonna use that word. Just pulled all this out. <sighs> so looks like someone's already been here before. Either th- either that, or they didn't want to leave out. any evidence. I just want to point out that one little problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, that can make have a, a little little problem getting out of there. <laughs> Dot com's really good at getting into holes, but getting out's a different story. So, uh, before Dotcom is going to creep all of all of us out, <laughs> suddenly you can uh, suddenly Ismene notices a flo- flock of bird-like creatures, and they are flying very fast, like something startled them. Ooh, birdies! <laughs> Anything to avoid the awkward situation going over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on birdies. Yeah. Well, she's easily impressed. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what has know, startled them? We see birdies. We, we, we hear birdies, and you guys hear a very loud howling noise. Like, you know, like, like very, very like howling noise with some electrical, electrical discharge, I guess. Like, something is howling very loudly. Mm. <laughs> from afar that doesn't sound good don't get too excited ladies I'll, I'll get out eventually <laughs> <sighs> we could just leave him there <laughs> yeah we could we could just <laughs> leave him here <sighs> I don't blame you he's safer for both of us if he's left uh, dot com you can either roll for <laughs> quick or careful to get out of there or I guess forceful those three um, actually, is there, like, I'm, I'm in the innards of this thing. Is there anywhere else I can, like, s- slink along and possibly grab some garbage to use for whatever, or even his little nest? Whatever not, 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 an, not, not anymore. Uh, okay, okay. So, um, it, it's been completely explored. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to forcefully get out, I suppose. Uh, difficulty... Let's stay okay. free. Well... I guess this is my home now. Could you go and grab my garbage and just toss it right in here? <laughs> this is my life now. Okay. Uh, if I am stuck in here, can I discern what that noise was or how far it was away? Can any of us do that? Uh, I, I mean, yes, mostly dot .com and this man I could, could try. You can use your goggles, this man I can use her her gear like you can you, you, you can roll clever one of you who wants Jeff you're clever cookies do you want me to do it are we lost Rita no I'm I'm here but you, cle- you know, okay. it's mainly it's got the cl- highest clever said it yeah you know? oh yeah true okay woo 
Nice. Nice. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah this, this, the source of this sound is, uh, let's say, like, it might be like less than one kilometers, so it's pretty loud. Uh, uh, in north from you, basically. There is a mountainish area there. Is the noise still going on, or is it stopped? Like it, 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 it was one time sounds, so, so it's it's quiet now. But the birdies were pretty worried about the sound. Well, I think we should probably rescue Dot Com collaboratively from his sticky situation that he's got himself into. <laughs> Yeah, he does tend to like to get himself stuck in that kind of stuff. <laughs> you would know, right? Um... Wait, what? What's that? what? <laughs> well, <laughs> you got some little bite back there, Missy. You you helped him into the hole. Hey, he got himself into this. <clears throat> you encouraged him, right? Are we going to rescue him? All right, all right. <laughs> What do we need to rescue? Uh, I mean, I'm probably. probably I think. Cargo rope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We probably have some rope. Uh, I'm gonna probably try and maybe roll maybe for flashy and try and get up. You know, shimmy up the rope. You know, chuck it up there, shimmy yeah. up the rope and try and get in, or at least try and force the hole, make it a little larger. <laughs> you know. You, you, you know. I have. Uh, I have a compel for you. I have a compel for you because you you you, you are, that's totally not a problem. You will, because you know this is a cargo rope, so it's a little bit elastic. No, you want to you know you want to be flashy. You want to show up. You want to turn this rope into a bungee rope and jump, take him out, do the backflip, and take him out. Oh, They're because totally that's okay. one of my aspects. Yes, that's and totally no problem. Yeah, I'm compelling that. Oh, okay, so do I accept the point? But yeah, roll for flashy. Roll for fra flashy, but this is pretty complex, so difficulty would be five. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh! No! Hang on! Hang on! I'm using my hey, it's not that bad out there re-roll. Okay. Mulligan. That's a good call. That's a good call. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Try again. Oh! <laughs> No. So <laughs> Oh. So what happens? <laughs> so what happens is Frida does that amazing bungee jump. <laughs> she takes that gum, but on the way back, the line. Well, it seems like it seems like the small goblin was enough to make uh, make the rope. You know, uh, get uh, get cut. So you're both stuck now. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking she was so dummy thick that she got stuck like halfway through. <laughs> I just the clap of. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. So now it's up to Ismene to to, to save uh, her crew, crew members, and there's another howl. This time closer. <sighs> okay. You know, when we got stuck out here, I kind of imagined we'd be in a hole together. Well, I didn't expect this to be in the middle of a galactic planet the way I die. And next to a little, little, scrawny little goblin. I, I mean, that's fair. That's fair. But this is exactly how I imagined I die. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I imagined I would die in a hole. That is, that is pretty common on my planet. So, so let's clarify. So, what is the issue? Why can't Dot Com get out of the hole? It's too the hole's too far away for him to get through. Yeah, uh, it's it's kind of like they fall, you know, pretty deep into the innards, and sadly, it's very hard to climb there. Like the walls are, you know, like everything was taken out, so you have just naked walls. Okay, but there's now two of them inside the hole together. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, can I use my clever to just analyze the situation a bit further to work out whether there is any possible route? Yes, yes. Uh, real clever difficulty four. 
Oh. You can bump, you can use a fate point to bump it to four. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, take it to fate point, point then. Stealing a card from you. Stealing your fate point. Hopefully for some valuable information. Yeah, so... What you realize, because like... The, the part of the ship that they are in is slightly underground, so... You, like, they could always try, uh, you know... Uh, Just push some attempt, dirt in. <laughs> att att attempt, <laughs> attempt to cut... You know, to cut the wall. But... What you realized is that maybe some sections of the ship are still functioning and because it's a very old ship that, you know, had very different energy gain, maybe you'll be able to use a small energy s s source to try and slightly move the ship. Okay. Or what's left from it. Like, maybe some of the sections so might, still well, work. Okay. So we already worked out that the butterfly has some form of energy force surrounding it. May I use that to try and activate what is remaining of the ship to activate? Yes, but I will take uh, one of from your uh, perfectly preserved specimen for that. I, I will take one invoke from that. That's fine. You may take. Okay. I don't know why I'm rescuing them. So, so... far they just kicked things and made lewd references. I don't think Esmene would like to mix with these people. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens? So what happens? She's yes. Yeah. So what happens is Mene like in, uh, takes takes the butterfly to the control panel and tries to convince it to give it some energy. So what the butterfly does is it sends a spark to the computer. Then, for a brief moment. Uh, the missing parts <clears throat> of the ship uh, appear as, you know, as translucent, you know, bluish outlines as the ship was whole again. And it jumps up a little bit and changes the position. The whole ship? The whole ship, yeah. Okay. The whole ship and... It's not, it's a, it's not a huge ship, so... Like, you, you get thrown around, but you, you are okay and... Basically, Frita and Dot can fall out of the of the hole, and as That's quickly convenient. as quickly as it flashed, uh, the missing parts disappear. But for the first time, you saw that the butterfly basically recreated for a brief second, like something that you know looked like energy projection of the missing parts. Okay. Oh, Have they escaped? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were on the ground. It's just like, ah. Oh. <sighs> Uh, yeah. Okay. That that uh, that that's pretty standard, actually, getting up in the morning. <laughs> but did I hear that right? Like when she put the butterfly to it, yeah. like missing parts yeah. kind of showed up. Yeah. For the brief second, you you saw them. Like you know, like it looks kind of like a hologram, you know, but it wasn't a hologram. Uh, okay. Okay. What if I apply some actual electricity to it? Uh, it's not organic. <clears throat> Uh, roll clever for me. Okay. Difficulty, difficulty free. Okay. Okay. So what happens is you just manage to, uh, you know, open the old console on the bridge with the communic the, the the radio device. Oh, d is the radio device functional? Yeah, kinda. It doesn't have a lot of, you know, distance. But, like, you, you can hear the static that shh. Okay, adjusting real quick with techno magic, yada yada. Uh, hey, uh, Trent. Yo, Trent. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Trent can, clicks a, a book. Can he? Can he hear me? Yeah. He can. It, it's, it's very old, but, you know. <clears throat> You're that little creepy goblin thing, right? No, this is your conscience speaking. He ha, ha, ha. now I know you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> he has no conscience. That was a lie. <laughs> Guess I, I rolled a one I for that clever. I drowned that thing when I was a lava. <laughs> hey, so we found an old ship. You should come check it out. Might be valuable. Or we can sell it. 
or something. Sounds good. Uh, I think I've got the ships. Well, the jump drive here is kaputski. It's not going to be running, but we got the... Everything else seems to be operational. I can just bring the whole ship over. Can, can you just take your foot off the brake? Will that just bring it, you know, bring it forward a little bit? Just kind of coast it here? I mean, we got it. I mean, I can fly the thing over there. It's... Out of yeah. character. It, it is landed. As, it's, not, it's not... We didn't crash it. We landed it, I believe. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah... Like, fi find me a big enough clear clearing, Goblin Guy, and I'll bring the ship over. Sweet. Uh, over and uh, under and through the woods and to my grandmother's house we go! Slam! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trent, Trent flicks a switch and, like, leans back in his chair and he's like, I like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly... Yeah, Trent... Uh, yeah. Uh, Trent... Wait, 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 wait. Before oh, we get to Trent... Uh, suddenly, the howling gets more and more intense, and on the rock nearby, uh, our friends can see something big approaching. A crystal gem! It's kind of big. And it howls, and it seems to have a lot of sharp teeth, including. Not gonna lie, when you said I didn't look, oh I wasn't looking. God. I wasn't looking at the screen. So when Stuart said a crystal gem, I was like, "What are you on about?" And I was like, "Oh right, okay." Oh, <laughs> so I want our reference. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, now, this... now we cut. Now we cut the trend. Uh, has now how far are they from our? Location, like not very far, like. So surely I, I've we've been hearing this this roaring and. Not really, not really. Like, no. Didn't okay. have the roaring. Like, listen, the ship is like pretty well, you know, defending you from any noises from outside, and you have. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. So you guys didn't hear that, but you can okay. move, you can slightly move the ship, you can try yeah. to, you know, use is... the, track the signal. Yeah, Trent. Trent is gonna. Do a, like a, he's got the scanners back up. Like he's going to scan everything to kind of get a good read on the area, and I assume he's going to he's going to pick that thing up. Hmm. At the very least, maybe at least my radio signal. Hello. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you can you, you can pick up his radio signal. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, the scan to scan to know that big creatures on the way. Uh. It shows you no life signs other than three of your new crew, crew members. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Trent's gonna get onto Dren. Is that like, Dren? How are you with how are you with uh, blasters? Oh, baby, this is my time to shine. Get your ass up here. We got. I need you on the guns, just in case. Before before we do that, uh, do you want to quickly uh, look through the jump drive? Yes. Oh yeah. I'll... Just give me two seconds to look at his jump drive, and I'll be with, I'll be with you. Okay, hurry up, cause I think they need us. Okay. Um, um, I wanna I wanna use my clever to thoroughly investigate the jump yeah, drive. Yeah, and remember you ca you, that you have a boost. So yes, I, is it a plus it... two, plus one? Plus one. So okay, it's five. So... Okay. Okay, right. so I've got a plus one to <clears throat> So what you discover is basically that jump drive luckily is functional. It still would be a challenge because you know you got here there's a huge there is a huge uh, you know field of black holes. And good news, jump drive is fully functional. Bad news, the reason why it doesn't work is because its uh, energy source was you know was uh, set up to be able to do just one long jump. If you hmm. find a new energy source, you can do standard jump. But it still would require a lot, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of hard work to uh, fly through the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. through the field of the black holes. Hmm. But if you manage to find a new part of a replacement, you can attempt to escape. Ooh, okay. Okay. You get, you got one more invoke uh, for that plus one clever, by the way. But it must oh, be... Oh, so, okay. so I can use the plus one clever 
Yeah, but it must be ship related. It cannot be. It must be ship related. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, upon learning this, I then relay it to Trent. Hey, you know, hey, we need this piece if we want to attempt to, you know, fly out of here. It's still gonna be a toughie though. So and then uh, I'm gonna go straight up to the. I'm gonna go get on the guns. Yeah, the guns. Yeah, it's on the bridge. There's three seats on the bridge. The center seat is the pilot. The left seat, I guess, is guns, and I think the right seat is a science station. So I guess yeah, right. okay. It, as as is me and Aiken will be sitting when we get going, but yeah, yeah, get uh, yeah, Trent, I just get your ass up here. I'm I'm starting yeah, her up, yeah. and he's just gonna start initiate initiating the the impulse drives and start bringing her into a hover and, and lifting her off. Okay. Okay. This will take you a few minutes, so yeah. let's go back to the rest of the Merry Crew who now sees the creature. And the scale of the creature is... I, I'm trying to keep, you know, the beings up to scale, so... It's pretty big. It's not enormous, but it's pretty big. Uh, yeah, pretty big it, could, it, could, it, it could chomp off half of uh, Trent, basically. With one bite. Okay. So it's like T Rex kind of big, big. Yeah. Okay. Right. So T Rex size. Okay. It has. It has. It has. Uh, you know. It has. Uh, those three weird eyes, and the, the weirdest eye is the top one because it seems to be reflecting and having like a starry night. Oh Lord, he coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh he march. <laughs> so this is your first conflict. Chal uh, so this would be challenge uh, our first challenge or conflict. So question number 1 who has the uh, biggest quick? My quicks uh, uh <laughs> my my quicks two. Okay. Uh, one. Uh, .com's Isabella, one. How's your quick? Uh, one. one. Okay, so the order is Frita, then Monster, then Dotcom, I guess, then Ismenel is last. <laughs> and you can make you, you you can make four actions in your turn turn basically. Oh, cool. You can make uh, one of four actions. I mean. Oh. <laughs> so. You oh can, right, you right. Can, one of can, four actions. Yeah. You can create an advantage, so uh, you can create a new aspect or try to discover one. Okay. You can create an advantage on an aspect you already know about. You, don't, you know nothing about this creature. However, you have an aspect, this place isn't so bad, so you can use this as well and figure out some, some new uses for it. And you have just two more invokes. Well, you know, you, you can try to overcome uh to you know to to do something but for now there's nothing to overcome you can attack obviously okay and you can defend if if he if he attacks but that you know defense is comes after attack so what do you do frita you're first okay i'm going to like say i'm going to probably like take my risk taker thing of that's totally no problem as in like saying like i may have been scared but that was just like a Teh. Oh no, that no, that was just for show. So what I'm gonna try and do is show. is I'm gonna try and use my quick skills to get around and I'm gonna see if I can ride this bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby. Cool. And, and okay. I just I looked at I looked at Dotcom and said, Don't <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, roll 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 quick. Roll quick. Okay. It's and, a two. And I'm rolling it's quick. Oh I'd like to spend oh. a fate point, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm spending my po my fate point as well then. Oh, oh, my oh, God. oh come on! <laughs> He's done yeah. He's just I can do it. <laughs> I'ma do it. So you just got So it. it's like it, it's like, you know, we can see Frita try you know, getting some cool jumps. And and she tries, you know, she she tries to jump over it, and the beast, ju the beast just sidesteps, and just looks, 
looks at Frida like, really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> so, it, this thing is, oh, it's his turn. It's his turn. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, so... Whoa, shoot, you're assuming it's a he. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> well, it has many this protrusions creature. coming out of it, to be fair. Yeah, so... This creature... Attacks... Uh, Frita forcefully. Uh -oh. <laughs> and in that case, and in that case, you like. In that case, since you just failed, you have to. You, you uh, you're quick. You you have to defend with your forceful. So, let's check its forceful. Ah, uh, 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 Frida's card, the beast's card. Okay. Oh, come on! Oh, oh no. Oh, you can't that. Hey, it's it's really not so bad out here. Oh, it's really not so bad. I didn't know you'd get minus. It's like... Oh, okay. it, you can. I'm gonna go. that mulligan again. Yeah. Mullet. That'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Yeah, reroll. 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 Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, come on! So, Lawrence, do you take the... Do you st oh, question? No. Do you take... Do you take two stress boxes or do you take a, a consequence? Uh, I'll take a consequence. <laughs> okay, so what happens is like Frita is trying to look really brave and this monster just uh, uh, head bashes her. Oh. She, she is, she is, you know, a little bit dizzy and you get a consequence because a uh, part of your suit has torn up. So y you have a hole in your spacesuit. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. It's a, it's a mild consequence. It's a mild consequence. Okay, but I'm like... Yeah. Oh, I, I just use my hand to like plug the hole. Mm, like, yeah. scr like scrunch it up. Like so I means at least it's like... To remind you guys, if you run out of consequence or uh, you, you won't be able to g g gain stress or consequences, you are taken out of the fight and I can do whatever I please with. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> so basically, basically, uh, next, consequ like next consequence can take up, uh, up to minus four difference. You know, but still, if you decide to take consequence, I'm taking that slot anyway. You know, and same with stress points. Like the first stress box can take uh, one point. So you know, if, if you took uh, that free damage to the face, I would have to take two stress boxes basically. Mm. because it's free, and you would have another one for free. Okay, but like it's not, it's not that, it's not the, it's not the end of, of the world. Okay. Dot com is next. Okay, so I'm, so I'm guessing Frida leaped out of the ship to attack this thing, right? Yeah. And, and dot com is still in it. Now, does, this is a standard tr uh, like travel cruise vehicle. Does it have any weapons on board? Not really. Mm, this not this might be this might be a thing that doesn't work anymore. So oh, was, not okay. really. Okay. Okay. Um, what about the engines? Is it like complete? Are they completely trashed, or do they might have some life in them? Well, they don't. They don't now. Like only because of the magical powers of the space butterfly, they managed to do something. So, hmm. I was gonna say. So, uh, uh, dear, dear. Do you have? Do you have that but that perfectly preserved specimen from earlier? Mm-hmm. May I have it, please? Well, like, to me, if you look at this thing, it looks like a big cat, right? What is the uh, best thing to distract a cat with? Uh, the answer I'm assuming is not <laughs> microwaves. <laughs> no, no microwaves. No logic! <laughs> like, it's I'm like a cat. <laughs> I mean, if you want to can check try out... It? If you want to learn something about this creature, you can also roll and, you know, try to learn something that may help you. I, I want this. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll try it I your way. <laughs> I, will, I, I will attempt to learn something about the creature using Clever. Yeah, roll Clever. 
Okay. So, yeah, you're trying to discover the aspect. So, you rolled, you rolled four. Difficulty was, uh, difficulty was three. So, you can, you, you can get a free invocation on one of its, uh, one of its, uh, aspects. You learn that this creature is the apex predator of crystalline paradise. And, okay. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. And one, one more thing. One more thing. And that uh, it basically, basically, uh, I, I will, I will also give you information about stance. It can charge on you, adding plus two to its forceful. It didn't. It haven't done it yet. That was its normal forceful. Okay, Toots, I think I see where you're going with this, but I don't think it's a cat. You see that long tongue hanging out? I think it's more of a dog. Go get it. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. Me? You can, you can, you can, you can, yeah, you know you know oh, it's you, as, you know the aspect. You know the aspect, uh, and you can use it somehow. You need to be creative. You need to convince me that you can use this aspect against this creature, basically. You can invoke it. So I mean, if I, it's the apex predator of its own life forms then it's going to want silicon based life forms so surely out of all of us it's going to want the butterfly yeah so if we release the butterfly hopefully the creature will follow the butterfly and not us because sure we, we on our own detectors we're not detectable no we are detectable but they're not so it can't, might not even be able to detect us apart from if you do something silly like try to jump on mm. i mean i mean surely it would react on the butterfly surely yeah, because it's it's wants to eat something. Yeah. <laughs> that's so that's release the butterfly. Okay. So you really but you, you are risking losing the butterfly altogether, just to be just to be clear. Mm. Worth the greater good. Save the lives. Oh, I mean you are low abiding, you know. I could I I can uh, you know, use that. Mm. Well, would, you, would you would you would you really re would it the life of a new life form? You don't need to accept it, but then I take your fate point. Uh, true, maybe maybe, but hmm. I think can't sacrifice the butterfly. <laughs> um, okay, okay. I'm, ta I'm taking your fate point there. Oh. Do what you like. Um, but I can use my skills with a needle. So yeah. could I possibly take something from the butterfly that will smell like the butterfly and chuck it a long, long way away? Uh, roll... I can't throw very well. Can dot com throw? Uh, yeah, yeah. So okay, so we are not sacrificing the butterfly. They are give, giving you the point back. Uh, okay. A roll, a roll, clever. Okay. And then roll. That would be two. It would be two rolls, clever and quick. I, we are not clever. Quick, clever is not like it, it's not a big challenge. It's two. Difficulty two. Two. Uh, okay. Yeah. Quick would be three, though. Okay. So clever. Jeez. Can I do something super with you? You get, yeah, you get a, you get a, you, you create uh, a new boost for you guys, so you can, basically, you can take two tiles of, out of the creature anytime. Because you, 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 you just, you can take two tiles out of, uh, out of the oh. creature because you just created best bait mm. ever. <laughs> oh, brilliant. And you can, and I'm giving you two invokes for that, and any one of you can can invoke them. You can basically use it to, you know, to take as bait to like yeah, to to to, 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 uh, to yeah to stop creature from from doing stuff basically. Okay. Do I still need to roll quick? I mean, the like you wanted to throw it, right? Yeah, but it's dot com better at throwing than I am. Oh, not even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you, I see you see these tiny arms? You see these tiny arms? Yeah. 
I, it's I, only good I, for. I don't, I, don't don't, I, I don't want to make make the additional action. You want to throw it away because when you are holding it, it's a very good bait, but it's baiting it to you. Okay, so quick, what do I need? Uh, quick, quick. You need three. Oh dear. Oh wow. Two. Oh, no. uh, can I give her you a can fake use card? Your fake you can use your fake one. I, oh, uh, uh, well, uh, you need to, you need to, you know, to give her a, a, a fate card. You need to put her in, in more trouble. Essentially, you need to invoke. She, oh, one of okay. her aspects. Well, I'm happy to use a fate point if this gonna get this creature. Okay. Out. Okay. So yeah, the the, the beast uh, runs after the bait. The bait, the, the, like, it doesn't fly away, but it takes it, its attention from your friend, Rita. Uh, yeah, that's why you better run! <laughs> 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 so I just watched, like, I just watched the creature with whatever happened. I'm just like, I may, I just kind of, like, quickly dash back to the ship. Just kind of, like, my pride in, you know, tail between my legs. I'm like... Okay, nobody saw that. <laughs> you okay? S s okay. <laughs> Dot com uh, quickly pulls out a USB of screenshots. Wait, of wait, 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 wait! Scrambling wait. to the <laughs> shit. Wait wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Because I can invoke your consequence, Lawrence. Uh huh. And I'm invoking your consequence because it's really hard to run when you are afraid about covering the hole in your in your suit. So you cannot be quick. Um, limping. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm so like, yeah. I'm like okay. So while I'm doing that, I'm just, I'm just thinking like I'm just doing what I can and just like, you trying to like grab the hole, and I'm just thinking, is there anything? Is this? Oh, I'm just frantically just just trying to focus on getting back to the ship. And I'm just like waving my hand to them, or just like just with my one eye on the creature, just trying to like go around as far away from the creature as possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, yeah, essentially, in two turns you will be in the same distance, but in this turn it can it can still leap onto you. Okay, well, I'm but I... you know, do you do you guys want to take out this turn out of creature? Because like, I, I, I was wondering, when are we gonna? Yeah, I, I was just about to get that. Does the creature get one more turn, or do you take away the turn from the creature? Uh, yes. take, should we take Using... away the turn? Using best okay. fate ever, right? That, yeah. The turn. Okay. So, uh, how's how's your quick, uh, dread and trend? Uh, it's uh, two. Uh, both, both are two. Uh. uh... My quick is one. So you are after dot com and before Ismene, eh? and Trent would be before. So you fly there and you see the scene. You see that huge, huge monstrosity. And, oh boy! Uh, oh, and you see your friend uh, uh, slash acquaintance slash friendly <laughs> Frita. Uh, looking like she tore up her pants, essentially. In <laughs> I somehow can sense that Trent's like laughing at me, so I just give him the bird. Yeah. Uh, uh, how big, can I ask, how big is the ship in comparison to the creature? Uh, pretty big. But is it bigger than the creature? Yes. Oh, I realize if I was to use the ship's weapons, that would surely be Dren's turn. I don't have control of the weapons. Yeah. So I'm thinking what, what Trent's going to do is use his uh, ace piloting skills. He's going to bring the ship down and he's going to like he's gonna find an opening where the creature is. He's going to swing the ship out and just like butt the creature away and just so he has a chance to land and get everyone on board. Okay, that the ship is kind of big, you know, and it, it will be kind of hard to navigate. So it's a very hard, forceful uh, roll. Four. Oof. Forceful. Forceful. Okay, here we go. Huh? Oh, uh, I spent the point. Spend the point. Spend the point. Spend the point. <laughs> okay. 
Got to just just say everyone can get on board and then like I don't okay. know. Okay. Wait, use wait, weapons. wait, wait. That was a roll. If you can even make it, now let's roll for you know for damage. <laughs> uh, I'm giving you plus one for your forceful because this thing is pretty robust. Even the, even if ship is pretty big. So so roll me for damage and I will roll. How do I roll damage? Sorry. Uh, roll, roll forceful. It's forceful. Is it, is it damage to the ship or damage to his no, character? No, no, to the beast, to the monster. All oh, right. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. Yeah, it's five. Let's see how it will defend. Oh, damn. Oh! <laughs> I'm spending my fate points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm rerolling that. And we'll see... <laughs> so Trent to the rescue four. It takes four. I uh I uh you'll get you will get you succeeded with style. You can create one boost or deal it more damage. What do you prefer? Uh what what do you mean by boost? Uh, like all those little things that that we made, like you know, like the the best bite ever, you know, hey, it's not so bad out of here. Uh, like a, I'm one like, time, well, all I'm trying, all Trent's trying to do is get the creature away from the the others and land the ship quickly so the others can jump on board. So in this case, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give the best uh, a moderate consequence then. Uh, if if it takes one more consequence, uh, it's it's KO for the monster. Okay. So basically, the ship like you you, you, you know it's like it, it's like you it's, it's like you hit a small animal because the ship is so huge. So the the, the monster <laughs> flew around and you shot it. Okay. You shatter the crystals <laughs> on its back, and and it it's really loud. It screeches in pain and anger. Oof. No. So That's now mean. it's Dren, it's Dren's turn. All right, okay, I want to shoot it. <laughs> of course you do. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna shoot it, and I'm gonna use. Uh, is this how it works? Can I use my special thing? My stun. Yeah, it, yeah, it it is it, it is. All right, okay, so I want to get in the gun, but yeah. upside down. Yeah. And like, what? and then shoot it, because I have to be in like a, a flashy acrobatic yeah. pose to yeah. use it. So yeah. So you should get a plus two. On the chair. <laughs> yeah. So like, but like I'm, in, but like I'm like got my like a head on the chair with with my hands with my like pinkies yeah. on the trigger. <laughs> Trent's looking over, going, "What the hell are you doing?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh. What would that be? It's. Um, you know, I would say I, I would I would say it's still forceful because you still forceful. It, you get but I still I still get a plus two, don't I? Yeah, so... yeah, the forceful. Yeah, it's... okay. So do I just bump my forceful up really? Yeah, quick? bump your forceful and and we'll add two. Okay. All oh, right. Okay, just do the forceful and then we'll add yeah, two. Just yeah, just roll it. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is that? Oh no! Oh damn! Oh, oh red damn. Red 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 coming in for the save. Oh damn! Oh boy. Okay. Okay. The this fate. is real Hollywood right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. And... yeah. That's why I love fate. Let's let's roll forceful for the beast. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know. You know, I'm not going to spend <sighs> fate points. For that. Yeah, you got two left. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't waste yeah, a point on that. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, try, try basically, being the eight, eight apex predator to that ship, bitch. <laughs> basically, you know, basically the poor thing, the poor little beastie. So what we've essentially done is we've swooped in, we've tail whipped it with the ship, and then drenched just blasted it to oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> Trent lands the ship and lowers the elevator. They destroyed the crystal. 
Oh. Yeah, we minced it. So, yeah, so... <laughs> so before it dies, the creature just turns, you know, that special eye towards Ismene, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and... I want to... Yeah. I want to compel Ismene. To genetically screen it? No, you have a oh. natural fear of ice. Oh no! Uh, oh. No. <laughs> Wait, well, it will like the, the eye, like the image of the eye. It will it will mess you up. It will you know it will be Rather in your nightmares. The sight, the the vision of this die of an eye uh, of the dying creature. The eye that you can see stars, planets, pulsar, weird oh. weird blue eye. Do you accept oh. this? this? This will be something that somewhat of a new aspect essentially that, that weird, weird nightmare do you accept this yes does this mean i don't want to harm any creatures from now on maybe maybe I like we will we will talk later about how we're gonna interpret after okay. this session. okay i'm giving you a point there okay you can you can la you can land safely the the threat is yeah, yeah, Trent Trent lands the ship and lowers like the 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 elevator thing at the at the back that I assume is how we get on and off the ship. Yeah. So he lowers that and yeah, just I guess we're gonna try and unload because weren't we tw weren't we gonna mm -hmm. load stuff onto the ship? Yeah. So you are trying to scavenge the, the other ship, right? Or the the base or uh, help your friends. What do you want to do? I mean, I don't know. Uh, Trent, get. What, what's your what, what's your idea? You de defeated the base and in. next to the wreckage. Where's the wreckage? Well, it's like not that far away from it. It was practically that the wreckage yeah. was right next yeah. to where yeah. the beast yeah. is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I think while that's going on, free to just like now that I can actually get up to the beast, I kind of yeah. like just like look down at it. I'm just like. Yeah. Yeah, that's what. You... <laughs> but then I'm just like, I, I look to his mayday and I'm just like, sorry. <laughs> and I just like I just like, I kind of just try and cover the eye. It's just like, just like, <laughs> and I, just, and then I just give his mayday the thumbs up. <laughs> like, interesting that you mentioned the eye because it like becomes. Becomes, you know, black and colorless after after the life completely evaporates from the future. I know that's just Freezer really badly trying to help. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like it's just got like I got your back, buddy. <laughs> and by the way, uh, the creature slowly withers and you know and uh, and falls into pieces, like loses its integrity. Becoming some sort of black metallic goo. Me too. Dum, dum, dum. Can I genetically screen it while we're there? Of course you can. That was fair. Oh. Do I need to roll anything? No, you don't need to roll anything for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trent, Trent's gonna get a suit on and then come out of the ship as well. Yeah. So the creature is, you know like very similar in 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 how it's you know built to to the rest of the uh, of of the monsters the only difference here is that it doesn't have anything that you know the butter the the butterfly had a similar structure to the other butterflies you found this monster it's made of the same materials but the structures of, of its genes is vastly different. It's a very weird sequence of genes, basically. Okay. Oh, and by the way, when it, uh, when it, uh, you know, uh, melted to the, to the goo, the eye is the only thing that was left. Uh, oh. It's not, it's yeah. not black and idle. I just pick up the eye. And oh. it's, it, it, it's it's like it, it's pretty it's like like a gem essentially <sighs> i'm just like oh, that thing is ugly <laughs> it's just a gem dude i'm just like this is kind of cool but 
and I just see his mane just kind of welling up. I'm just like, no, 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 buddy. It's not an eye anymore. It, it's a, it's a jewel. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Doc, come to take this, will you? And I just chuck the chuck it out of the way, and I just kind of like sweetly smile. At, yeah, his mane is like nothing wrong, nothing wrong. <laughs> Well, Dotcom grabbing the eye just kind of gives his disgusting little chuckle, and he starts uh, he starts fondling it all over, trying to figure out its properties. <laughs> so yeah, Dotcom is gonna try to figure out like its properties. So I'm guessing it's much like the other crystalline life forms here, where it's organic but it's like crystal, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, can we? Can we take it to? I want to. I want to take it to the junker that we were in and see if it will react to anything if we start putting it up against stuff. Okay. You don't need a roll for that because, like we see, like we see a, a, a you know, short montage with dot com trying to, you know, to uh, put it up to everything on the ship and other yeah. people, and disappointingly, nothing happens. What if I now I I earlier I was kind of playing with the organic electricity a bit. Can I yeah. like try to finagle something with that? Like try to see if there's any organic electricity around and like play with the old ship consoles, play with the eye, that kind sure. of stuff. Or you can try to send this electricity from a plant to the eye. That's what you want to do, right? Uh, yes. Uh, careful for. Careful. Oh no. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. Oh. You got you, you got oh, zapped. Man. You got zapped pretty badly, but luckily nothing happened. You are used to oh, she, that. Ah, she, she's got some spice to her. I, I think, do uh, like that. Yeah, well, before, before you continue, before you continue, uh, is that uh, ship scanners because you are scan scanning all the time and the sound got like the sound the sonar like sound from the engine room got. A little bit quieter. Uh, you got an information from from the ship's internal database that they encountered a huge uh, junk field just behind that mountain. Oh! You didn't ask for that. Basically, you didn't ask computer for that. So it's just telling you there's other... a junk field over there. Yeah, it's like this is this is just a one ship, but like what your ship says uh, is basically. I scanned it. There's more of that. Uh, okay. I while this is easily, this, um... while this is going on, I'm just gonna get on the ship and like say, yeah. see if there's a way I can patch up the suit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does Trent like Trent's gonna look at? Cause do do I do, do the ships look familiar of, of in terms of make and model? Is there any way? I mean, I mean, I think you are a connoisseur. So those ships are, you know, very early days of. Uh, of you know inter-system planet flight like the first one of the first ships that were you know allowed to commercial use be because before that you know like the, ra the races of the galaxy didn't really weren't yeah. really able to to met like in this galaxy they are first made in contact by radio it, it's like it's like before all the corporations took over yes yeah stuff. yeah well yeah. over right there. right so yeah trends just looking around was like I have got some old tech here. Like he's like he's just like dusting off the wreckage and just trying to see what he can salvage. I mean, it's not a big ship. Probably all that remained could be fit into your cargo, but you won't be able to fit a lot more there. I, I figure though, if 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 there's more over the mountain, we should go to the junkyard and see what that's all about. Personally. Trent is going to head back to the ship and just sort of prep it. <laughs> I was like, well, my vote is we go check out that junkyard. We need to, we do need spare, spare parts to fix the to fix the jump drive. If we're gonna find them anywhere. It could be our best bet. I'm gonna go prep the ship. That's smart. I'm gonna go with him. Um, I think I'm already like nearly at the ship now as well. Yeah, you go to the ship. You started patching your suit. It doesn't take a lot. When you're at the ship, so do you do, do you guys all go to the ship and fly 
to check can out. Can this maybe go to the laboratory and start? Of, of course she can. Of course she can. Let's move you all to the ship then. So yeah. Let's resize you. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Boom. There you are. Wow, I'm huge. <laughs> That's a pretty a common statement. For me. <laughs> okay. Whoa, dot com, you're so big. Yeah, I get that way more often than you'd think. <laughs> <laughs> You, you 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 forgot the a hole part. Uh, <laughs> no one okay. said I had to complete the sentence. <laughs> well, you, you, know can, they, you can move you know around, they, around the ship. You know, know what they say? Now. Once you go green, you get fucking destroyed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Where's the? How can I, I? Why can't I move my character? Oh, did I? Wait, wait. Something wrong. Wait, let me check it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you, you, you guys go on. I'm figuring that out. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm in, I'm in a, I'm in a bridge with Trent. I'm, a, I'm can, just uh, doing Trent. stuffs. You can move it now. Trent starts oh, really? um, realizing that like people are gonna start using other aspects of the ship because he hadn't, he hadn't sort of prepped that up when because it was a rush launch. He starts like real, you know, rerouting power to like the laboratory and the workshop, and really actually properly getting the ship set up so people can start using it. Changing the f changing the floors because it's many one. It's many. Oh, here. I'm still here. Oh no, I'm not. No. Wait, wait, wait! I'm putting. Yeah, I'm put. I'm putting you in, in the room. You are supposed. You are supposed to be in. So where are you all? In? Which rooms do you choose? I was in the bathroom. Um, bathroom upstairs. Okay, bathroom upstairs. Ismene is down here, so we take her out of the map. Dot com is in the workshop, and you guys in the, are in the bridge. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Ismene, we focus on you for now, for for a brief moment. What do you yeah. do in the laboratory? Um, what do you want to do? Well, I've only had my field, so I'm gonna. I want to put the butterfly in a nice enclosure. Give it a bit okay. of food so it's not going to die on us. And we've so far worked out its silicon based life form. I so... mean, you saw it eating that weird energy thing, so you don't know if, you, if it will take any food. Okay, but silicon based life form for Ismene, she would think like sand. Now, if it's a laboratory, you've got to have a bucket of sand somewhere to put your burning things. So cigarette, cigarette she's gonna... <laughs> Yeah, obviously. Um, so she's going to raid the bucket of sand and give it some sand. Okay. And yeah. And then she wants to analyze the sample that she got from the beast and from the butterfly a little bit further. But only once the butterfly is comfortable. Okay. So basically, uh, uh, the butterfly looks at, at the sand. It's, it 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 views it is that something new, but like it seems to send small sparks to one towards the sand. You know, and for that, it it, it looks interesting. Okay. It looks interesting. You guys, meanwhile, fly over to the junkyard, right? Yes. I yeah. Think yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm flying over there. So the junkyard is kind of huge, like a lot of ships from various periods. They, 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 all of them are, you know, kind of crashed, but that's <laughs> not... Kind of crashed. They kind of they, 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 they crashed. crashed a bit. They, they, <laughs> they, 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 they're suffering from a bad yeah. case of crash. <laughs> but I think the the most impressive thing is like a giant, looks like a giant telescope. And it's made out of scrap but it's not you know it's not badly fit it's like it's like that uh, art made of recycled glass you know it looks like it's all m perfectly melted together okay there's a huge telescope and some weird pillars made of ship parts attached to it and they go down to something that 
might be underground bunker or might be a huge ship. Oh, okay. So it's it's been it they've essentially used the scraps to make. Yeah, somebody okay. made this essentially, and it looks like it. It doesn't look like you know like like uh, I would say mess that somebody left, but it, it looks like more, more like a mosaic, like very intricate. You know, like somebody could mm. fit those parts on even molecular level. You know. Yeah. Trent uh, is going to look for a, a clearing nearest to the structure you mentioned. And yeah. Bring it in and set it down as close as he can. Yeah. And uh, the engine goes crazy with noises. Like it, it, it makes a lot of lot of noises. Then it's it it, it sends a singular white pulse toward the structure, and it goes quiet. Hmm. Wait, then, we sent a, we sent a white pulse to the structure. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the pulse was sent by you. Then, uh, then uh, you can see that ships consoles on the bridge are doing something. It seems like you you guys are receiving a lot of data. Oh, okay. Trent's gonna then, try. It, yeah. Sift through it. <laughs> then um, you. It's it, it's you know it's it, 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 it's a huge blubber like you cannot find anything like it's a lot of data that doesn't make sense it seems to be encrypted and okay. you can see that you want you work over over the basic computer but something else it, it seems to be doing this and then all the data gets basically gets sent somewhere out planet you don't know where. Huh. But the, but the engine is quiet. Well, I guess we're here. <laughs> I so I've I've exited the bathroom now. So I've like taken off the yeah. suit and yeah, you know, I'm just kind of been healing up my my pride right now. So I'm yeah. just I walk onto the I just walk onto the bridge and like say, "Yo, ha, where so where are we at?" Uh, Trent gestures to the. Um, the, the building that you the, the structure and he's like it looks like someone's took all, all the scrap here and turned it into some kind of what, what did you say like a mausoleum or like a, 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 telescope, like observ a telescope observatory observatory a mausoleum <laughs> yeah maybe yeah. Ma maybe mausoleum right. yeah maybe it's like it's some it's kind it's of some kind it. of temple and they've got like a telescope here that was a strange white pulse when we landed, and the ship just randomly sent out a whole bunch of data gobbledygook, but it just hap just happened automatically. I'm still trying to figure it out. Hmm. Hmm. It seems like it's almost like the ship kind of recognizes it, like it remembers it. I don't know. Hmm. So, I just say, Trent. Can, do you think you can like some like send a pulse on yourself again? Try and hail it. That might work. Maybe. I didn't send the first pulse. It was automatic when when we landed. Well, see if That's you can right, replicate man. it, then dummy. Trent just kind of looks at um, Fritter, like doesn't break eye contact, and just starts punching in keys to try and replicate <laughs> to see if he could try and simulate what happened to try and do it again. And then, and then eventually, uh, the screen. he only activated the singing hamsters on the on the bridge. Is he like maintaining <laughs> eye contact while he's pressing the button? Yeah, yeah. 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 He's not. He's not broken yes. eye contact yes. at all. When 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 the when the singing starts, he changes yeah. to Let's the computer. Yeah, like. pressing buttons. <laughs> yeah, like you can imagine, like from like suddenly you have. You know, on, 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 on the on the command board you have those four weird small animatronic hamsters and they're like Trent still maintaining serious eye contact is just gonna gesture to the hamsters and be like <laughs> <laughs> And sadly nothing, like like nothing here helped you. Yeah. Just Trent's like it, if we're gonna if we're gonna if we wanna figure it out, we're gonna have to go investigate. We need parts anyway to fix the jump drive. Hmm. That we do. All right. I mean, looks like we're probably gonna have to check out this big hunkin' building. 
Is there anything else around here that may be of interest? Did someone say hunk? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Uh, Trent, can I do a scan of the area with the ship's computers? I guess that's more. As mean as a science is, maybe she she's probably be better on the science station to do a scan. Surely. Trent jumps over to the science station and just has it and punches into scanning to scan the area. I guess because that's the science station's job. Okay. Okay. Uh, is Mena do you assist? Do I resist? Assist. Assist or assist? Resist? I, I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> um, you can resist. You can resist. Hey, well, I don't know why he's messing with my computer. I'm a bit annoyed at him. Well, no, it's not. It's just because you're not here. Because, like, again, I, I imagine you being the scientist, you'd want you'd want to man the science station on in on the bridge, but you're not here, right? Okay. Now. Okay. okay you are using. Okay. okay you're, you're using the one on the battery. Eh? Okay. So we are using. Okay. So roll. A roll clever than a threat. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Well just yeah. trying. We're only scanning the area, so just to see if there's anything going on. Okay. Mm. So, essentially, you can dis you discover that there is some activity, definitely some activity underground. You don't know if it was there before, but maybe what you did activated some stuff in that structure. Definitely, definitely, there's some mechanical activity, but not yeah. no life science. Yeah, looking at the science station, Trent's like, yeah, this thing goes down for miles by the looks of it. Something's obviously triggered from us being here. <sighs> well, it's like if it if it knows we're here, we can't exactly just run away. And as you say, we do need more parts. Hmm. <laughs> Trent, Trent sits back in his seat is like, well, we would run away. I imagine you would kind of hop away like before, like with a, sm with a smirk and then look, continue pressing buttons. I just, I just sidle on over to the coffee vendor. And I just like, and I'm like breaking, I, I just like tap on the buttons, put up a coffee and I just like sip it like really like shaking the cup. Just like, no. I mean, it's just broken, looking, just... but it's not totally broke. Like he shot it lately, but it's still yeah. Kind of it's just an, it's just enough, and I'm just and I just like looking at him. It's like it's just hot water. No, I'm just gonna say no, 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 no. It's even worse. It's just the coffee's just mainly granules. <laughs> I'm just like, and so I'm just like looking at him. Say, this coffee tastes lousy. She's chomping on the coffee seats, basically. And I'm just like really going, <laughs> gritting my teeth. It's just like, <laughs> as in like, yeah. I hope yeah. you are satisfied. Ben <laughs> just leans back in his chair, just like big smirk. Just. <laughs> but good news, good news. Ben destroyed the coin slot for the coffee vendor as well. So. Oh well, great! Free a lot sludge. Of, a lot of yeah, a lot of stuff here has uh, coin slot, by the way. Trent, one of the I, I'm gonna say one of the things Trent I wanna I wanna have Trent try and do like when he was putting in his own like algorithms and stuff was to try and bypass most of the pay paying services because he's a proper cheapskate. He doesn't yeah. want to spend his money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, now they're mostly already. Okay. So do you guys want to rest on the ship and start exploration mm. of this structure? On the next session, or do you want to get a sneak peek on it? Yeah, it's like that, a good place. To... Yeah, yeah to but let's get like that it. kind of like to be continued moment. Yeah, so so yeah. I, I I have I have both to be continued moment and as a post credit scene. So okay. like we see you know everyone doing stuff on the ship like you know Dotcom doing things on the fabricator, you know Frita, Dren and Trent talking on the bridge, Ismene you know working in her lab and. Not uh, noticing that the sand turns blue after a while when butterfly starts to spark over it. And then like we follow the camera. The camera you know goes to the to, to the structure with the telescope. And then we can see it, it's pretty dark. We don't see a lot, but like we get dragged very fast uh, you know by by the camera and we see how deep it goes down like it just shows a huge chasm and at the bottom of this chasm there is like a trans translucent translucent uh, chamber 
like and post credit scene so <laughs> in the end we see our uh, good old uh, good old boy Dorei Aki aka the most important person in the galaxy <laughs> I made him big and he he is sitting uh, on his desk oh, ne next he by. Uh, he he's not that big, but like you know, sh sh showing him him to everyone. All right. And what he do and what he does basically, like you can you can see a lot of people you know talking by the phones on his screen screen, using some some sort of communicator. He seems to you know looking at all, all those screens, but finally he gets a message and it's like data received. He puts oh. the data in his computer, and you can see that this weird cipher, it's the same thing that your ship has sent. Oh. oh. So, like what, so what the Ray is doing, it's like, uh, he like, he like, uh, presses one button, and every single of those screens get like a BRB note, and those people st st stop talking, and he opens a door at the back of his office and he goes to a room that basically looks like like it's it's dark he, he presses a button and there is a holographic display of you know uh, of of a galaxy i guess and stars it looks basically like the background of uh, that we are using for galactic roles and we can see that he's speaking to someone, but we can, uh, we cannot see this thing. And he's like, he he he, le he leans away, and it's like, as I promised, we got it. And to be continued.